Greetings and welcome back to what are we playing? Civilization Beyond Earth. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, this is the third game I've played this morning, so getting a little confused at this point. So yeah, that should make this game interesting. All right. So uh, carrying on. Um, there, somebody emailed me a, a, a post about some any tweaks about the game that uh, should be helping the frame rate a bit. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not, but uh, I applied it for this uh, recording, and hopefully things uh, work out okay. I know on the uh, on the final recording, the map drag is a little choppy. I'm not seeing it right now while I'm doing this, but on the final recording, it is. So um, there is that. Um, well, we'll play today, and we'll see just how things go. Um, I'm not sure exactly what all those tweaks did, but um, we'll find out here shortly, I guess. Okay, so carrying on, I guess we just need to hit next turn, and we're not attacking the aliens as much as I'd like to, good lord. Okay, we shall carry on. Turns still aren't too bad, and I've played ahead to about 150 turns-ish. And the turns aren't getting too long. There's a couple that sort of bog down for whatever reason, take a little longer, but uh, for the most part, most of the turns are going pretty well. All right, now what was I doing with you? I think I was just sort of keeping you on top of my uh, worker there. Okay, so keep on exploring. We got Miasma there, so we'll go this way. I guess we zoom in a little bit here. And I think I just finished healing him up, so we're just going to discover the rest of this, and maybe we'll embark and go see what's out here. Okay, so next turn. Oh, somebody's attacking aliens. Okay, we'll wait a turn on you. Oh yes, and I'm going to colonize again. Where was I thinking of doing that? I th thought I had a spot picked out, and I might not have. And I found out that you can't go within three tiles of this. So unfortunately, that's a problem. Uh, I th kind of think I was thinking of going here. Sh yeah, that's a little close to that city. I just assume come out a little bit more. Uh, one, two. Uh, that might be too close. These stations are really a pain. I'm noticing they seem to st to throw themselves down right in a spot that's prime for a city. Like I'd love to settle right there. <laughs> I really would. But on the other hand, we could probably maybe take that later. Uh, there is that option as well. But yeah, where to put this colonist? Um, we've got oil here that we're not going to reach otherwise. Uh, we might eventually, but we're not actually going to get this far. Uh, if I settle there, we go one, two, three, and we missed that. I'd like to get that. Again, I'm not sure um, if there's a huge problem in hugging these cities close together. I know the AI does it, but I just assume keep my capital, at least my capital with the full uh, three tiles out, just uh, because that gets pretty big and I do like to work as much of it as I can. Um, there is out here. Hmm. Decisions. Yeah, I'd love to go here, but I think I'm too close to this city. I don't think I'd be able to do that. And if we go there, we pretty much overlap all of these tiles. I think we can designate which uh, city actually works what, but I'd still rather not do it. Oh, and maybe that's why I had that unit out. I think I was going to come up here somewhere, but I can't because of that city. I could maybe come in here. But that's getting pretty far away. That's pretty close to this one, I guess. But no direct route other than to come around this way. Can't get through here. Wouldn't be able to get through here at all. So that's an issue. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know about there. I think maybe we'll just... I'm going to come up here. I'll try it. If it doesn't work out, then I guess I'll back off. Yeah, or we'll go up one or come back. Well, actually, we won't even be able to go up one. So maybe we'll come back here if this doesn't work out. But I would like that petroleum. is the only thing. You are saying to go here. This is the suggestion from the advisor. We'll catch that. Uh, we'll catch that. We'll catch that. Oh, and I don't have my uh, icons on here. So maybe we'll do this. And we'll throw the trade routes on as well. Okay, so oh, and there's coral here as well. That's actually not a bad spot now that I'm looking at it. So maybe we'll do this. And we'll try hugging the, the uh, cities together. I don't generally like to do that, but we'll go for it. So I'm going to bring you down here. And I think I'll bring that uh, soldier out of there as well. Just to escort him over. And we'll carry on here. And we'll see what else is out here. Such as things to sink my ship here. <laughs> okay, and choose production. Network, let's get our science up. That's something I notice I'm not really doing uh, very well, is keeping my science up. Uh, we should get a spy agency as well. Uh, okay, it's a toss-up between network and spy agency. Uh, we got 18 science right now. I'm going to go for the science, and then we'll go for the agency. Actually, unless I can buy the network for 640. No, I can't. Okay, never mind. We'll just do that then. And next turn. All right, and it looks like I can maybe do something here, too. Uh, I think I'll still keep that soldier with him, though. And yes, I think we will go there. Unless I went here. That's an option, too. I'll still catch all of it if I go here on this forest. But I think I noticed something last night, too, uh, when I was playing. We come in here. We look at the... Uh, the actual river tiles. Uh, they have two, at least the ones with farms on them, have two, uh, two energy. I think you get an extra energy if our city is on the, the river. What I noticed was uh, I settled a city back one from the river, and I didn't get that extra energy for some reason. So it must have to do with actually settling on the actual river. So if I don't settle on the actual river, then we might lose out. I mean, I could go here and uh, uh, maintain a bit of more distance from our capital, which is kind of preferable, I'm thinking. But then there's the energy loss by not being on the river. Interesting. Yeah, I think I'll bring my soldier over first. Okay. Okay, so that's kind of a decision there I got to make. And I'm thinking if there's any more land masses, you're going to be down a bit. Okay, we're not going to attack. Man, that's a lot of aliens. Alright, so we'll finish the road. And we'll see what else we can find out here. And I think we'll just skip a turn there for a minute. Okay, so that's actually suggesting here now as well. I think I'm going to do that just to give my capital a bit more room. And I know what I can buy, actually. Uh, I'll leave that soldier with that uh, that place and I'll just buy another one here. Okay, 
So that'll have a soldier back in there. And I guess we're going to go for another swim. Instruct the children not to dream of toys or sweets. Instruct them to dream of infrastructure. Well, that sounds pretty greedy. <laughs> All right. Actually, a lot of those quotes sound like greedy. Okay, we'll skip another turn there. And we will fortify you. And we will settle right here. And we'll fortify. And we'll work our way around this guy. Okay, now one thing I did notice, uh, let's go to culture here for a sec. I think I've screwed up my pathing already. Uh, it's probably too late in this game to do it. But I noticed last night when I started a game, I thought, you know what, I'm going to come through here first. So what I did is I got the 10% 10, 10 food retained from city growth. Then I went to homesteading, which gives you 30% speed toward, uh, towards outpost growth. And then I come down here and got the free colonist. And I'm thinking that might be an optimal way to come out here. Uh, get you some really good expansion early in the game, which I think is important. And I'm kind of thinking the AI kind of does the same thing, because I know the AI does expand really quick in the early game. So... Uh, too late, like I said, too late to really do it in this game, but uh, that might be something to consider next time. Okay, first time in the tech tree today, so it takes a minute to load, and there we go. Now, what should we go for next? I think some ranged weapons would be nice. Uh, we've got ballistics, rocket artillery, uh, more science, which is good. Requires a workable improvement source of Firaxite, which I'm not sure we have. Okay, uh, what else we got up here that we can build fairly quickly? Genetics, uh, Crito Nursery for health. We asked we need, if we need to get on the health, and there's a science there as well. So we'll pick genetics. And we'll do that, and next turn. Okay, let's skip a turn again. So, so far the alien in life is behaving itself. It hasn't really attacked me yet. We haven't really made any decisions against that, but I'm just noticing the faction we're playing. Um, they're, when, I, when I was playing aggressive against the alien there, the first ones to come out and uh, condemn me for being aggressive with the alien. So I think it's kind of their faction personality uh, to uh, befriend the aliens. So we're going to actually try that angle. But yeah, there's a whack of them around here. Good lord. Anyways, we'll carry on. And I think when I get some, uh, okay, so that road's done. I think when I get some time, I'm going to start watching some early game videos of this and just see what I've missed and uh, pick up a few tips maybe. But uh, I definitely wanted to uh, do this fresh without any uh, any press coverage on it. Oh, must be near some land here. Possibly. Okay, so I'm going to bring you out to maybe just sort of sit there for the moment, and we'll uh, put you on alert. And we got an alien there. We'll just come up a bit further. Of course, you're going to wake up every freaking turn. All right, fortify instead. I don't want to be putting him back to sleep every turn. He's just not going to wake up for any aliens, unfortunately. Ouch. Get the hell away from that thing. 
I think it's a Kraken and they're just hugely powerful and nasty. Again, I'm not sure about the alien life forms, whether all of them will be friendly or whether some of them will still attack. No idea. Okay, so let's have a look here. What do we need? I almost wonder if an ultrasonic fence might be handy here. Yeah, it's a lot of turns to build it though, unfortunately. Maybe we'll get another tra trade depot going. Uh, enhance our trade a bit. Yeah, we'll do that. And, oh, I was going to say, can I build... Nah, I'd have to wait for the trade depot anyways. I was going to see if I could build a uh, a trade vessel or something. And we've got one healthiness left. So I think once that other city starts uh, getting established and starts growing, we're going to actually slip into the negatives on the health. So we're going to have to concentrate on that. Yes, yeah, so let's get off this, uh, this miasma there, but I think I'll chance it anyways. Just wanted to get away from that Kraken. Okay, so you go there. Ooh, a geothermal. I don't think I have any of that. Okay, I've got xenomass. More xenomass. Yeah, I don't see any geothermal around me. Is there any float stone? That might be a problem. Again, I'm not sure exactly. Oh, there's some right there. Don't know whether I can reach it though. Nope. I'd have to settle up in this area. Oh, there's float stone right there. Okay, I didn't think I had any. Perfect. Okay, so no geothermal though. Okay. I just want to have a quick look there. Some of the improvements for this stuff is like way down the tech tree a bit. You go to war with the soldiers you have. Make sure those are the soldiers you want. Probably pretty good advice. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, next up, uh, alien life forms. We can build an alien preserve, which gives us two culture, and one culture from paddock improvement. Uh, I can't remember if we have a paddock yet or not. Uh, purity affinity, and gene vault. Now, purity affinity, we come up here. The first level, aliens will not attack tiles with explorer units, which is probably going to be handy. So I'm thinking I might go with that first. And we also get the gene vault, which is a wonder. And I notice somebody always beats me to that, so I'm going to get that as quickly as possible, maybe. Um, I seem to be having trouble getting wonders built. I, people seem to beat me to them all the time. So there's a few areas I really have to step the game up in uh, in order to compete. Okay, as you can tell, I'm getting a little better at avoiding the miasma, or miasma, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, probably miasma. Okay, another station discovered, this one provides plus four, plus four production from anybody trading with it, so that's good. And it looks like we got that done. So we got a plantation there, what else do we need in this immediate area? Nothing I can really get to anytime soon. So we have a, an alien nest in our borders. Now, from what I understand, the uh, aliens will get uh, friendly. Or friendlier. I think if you mouse over them. Oh, come on. 
How come I can't get that? There we go. Uh, alien nest. Uh, I'm not getting the actual. Okay, let's come over to one of the other ones. Here we go. Yeah, alien manticore. Now that word is in red, I noticed. And I think in one game I played it turned green at some point. So I'm not sure if that's significant or not. Again, still learning, so I'm not exactly sure. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get to too much else here, unfortunately. So let's bring you back this way. And maybe we'll get a road going this down to this place. Uh, roads are good for uh, income again, just like they are in Civ 5. Safe behind walls. It's a quest decision, so we'll look at that down here. Now we completed our ultrasonic fence. We found that many new applications for this or found many new applications for this technology. At the moment, the fences are static, with a reach that goes beyond what we originally predicted. However, if we, re if we reverse the polarity, it will decrease the ultrasonic circumference, allowing the fence to become mobile, like a personal shield. Do we stick to the original design or embrace the unexpected and create something new? Uh, keep original design will repel one plus one repel range from ultrasonic fence So uh, that'll keep the aliens further away from our cities Or trade convoys will not be attacked by alien units Hmm I don't know what that's going to be worth it if we're going to try to befriend the aliens Are they going to attack anyways? I haven't had a problem yet in this game well, I'm going to go for the extra range on the uh, ultrasonic fence. That way it at least keeps the aliens out of our face and we'll be able to uh, to do some, some improvements around our city. As we saw, we couldn't very well do that. Okay. Good stuff. Alright, so... Now, where did we put the ultrasonic fence? Down here? Nope. Uh, okay, so this just got... This city just got up and running. Uh, we'll just go with the old arthritic relic for now because it's nice and cheap. So we'll do that. And let's just grab this unit. Nope, this unit. Wake them up and fortify them just so his shield ends up up there. Just a little OCD thing with me. And next turn. See if these are working today. Yeah, it doesn't look like they are. This is intermittent. I noticed some games are working and other na other games they're not. So uh, I guess this game we're just not going to have any leaders, which kind of sucks. Hopefully they'll patch that soon. Uh, couldn't help but notice that you seem to be expanding into lands which I recall mine. I request that you can reconsider this. I'm not sure. I think that's. Uh, What's the place called? Is it Central or something? Just beyond our next, uh, our top city there. I don't think I'm really going anymore in that direction anyways. So I guess we'll just say our apologies. And I hope we can continue to find common ground. I'm pretty sure she's not talking about this city, is she? Okay, uh, she's not where I thought she was. Whoa. She must be over here somewhere. Ah, now there she is. Yeah, I thought she was over here. Okay, so yeah, they're actively killing aliens. So uh, I don't know how that's going to affect us, but uh, hopefully not at all. Yeah, it's these flying things that always seem to want to attack me, but they seem to be sort of behaving themselves lately. And when they attack, these things attack as well. But because we actually haven't shown any aggression towards them, hopefully they'll leave us alone. So our city, the city has been connected, so we got additional uh, income from that. And yeah, we know that. We know that. Cooperation agreement has been has expired. Your cooperation agreement with Samatar Jamarbar has run its course and will need to be renewed. 
Um, I forget who he is now. I think he's the African nation. Um, yeah. There's a cooperation agreement with Franco-Iberia. And we're sort of below him anyway, actually. We're second from dead last here. So we definitely got to pick some things up here. I don't... Eh, why not? I haven't played too much with this. Okay. Oh, we got a voice that time anyways. That's a good shine, I guess. Okay, so... Uh, deal. Or discuss. It's probably in deal. Come, sit and speak. No. It's probably in discuss. So we establish a cooperation agreement. And yeah, he didn't bug me for any of my stuff like they do in uh, Civ 5. So maybe we'll try that. An excellent idea. Okay. And goodbye. So we renewed that. I wonder where they are. Um, it's, no, he's over here. I think that's him. I wish I would tell you by mousing over. Can't really uh, tell by just mousing over. And I'm not familiar with any of these names. They're all kind of alien. Which is fitting, I guess. Okay, so let's uh, choose some production. And what should we get? This is our home. Uh, we do need healthiness. I think we're in a deficit now. Yep, we're uh, minus two right now. I wish they showed minus two. But yeah, we're at minus two, so we definitely need some more healthiness, and we can get that fixed in seven turns. And of course, this place will grow before then, so we'll be still in the minus, but we'll deal with that. Okay, so what are we up to here? Yes, they seem to be leaving me alone, so that's kind of interesting. I don't know how fickle they are. They just outright will come and attack me for no reason or not, but... We shall see. Okay, so build a road. And next turn. I hear that you and African Union have become friends. Glad to hear it. I'm already in good terms with myself. So yeah, that's Franco-Iberia. Okay, where to go from here? Well, there's Miasma here, but uh, you know what? I think we'll just choke it down and get through it. And next turn. I think we'll bring this episode to a close here somewhat shortly. Now, I'm hoping he stays out of here, because if he comes in here, he's going to claim that uh, nest, and he's going to get bonuses for it. But I think if it's anything like Civ V, he's not allowed to enter our borders without an open borders. And I'm pretty sure we don't have that. Better make sure on that. Uh, where are we here? ARC. Uh, I'm just not familiar with all these names. Okay, so... Yeah, we don't have any open borders or anything. Okay, so that's a good thing. And next turn. He's got rangers out there. He's going to lose a unit if he doesn't uh, insta-heal him. Okay, another road. 
Um, hmm. Ooh, I don't know how I'm getting through here. Okay, maybe we'll go that way then. And once again, we'll just choke on the miasma. Uh, what's there? Derelict settlement. Okay, maybe we can do something with that. It's going to tick off. <laughs> Our friends. Okay, well, hopefully he doesn't get too upset about it. Because I'm doing it. Finders keepers. Unless this thing gets aggressive, of course. Kind of cool ambient sounds in this game, too. Say bye bye to your unit. Okay. And how many turns? Oh. Construct an expedition doesn't tell me. Order your explorer to excavate the site for usable materials, but it doesn't tell me how many turns. I guess it doesn't matter, just do it. And one thing I had happen in a game yesterday is the AI would come along to one of those, set up and start working on it, and there was no money at miasma there or anything. But then two turns before it was finished, he'd just take off and leave it unfinished. And I'd come in and finish the last two turns and grab it. So I think that's a bit of a bug in the in the gameplay. Uh, it happened twice, so I'm not sure what the issue was. I could see if it was Miasma and the uh, Explorer was getting low on health and would have to move out and then come back. But uh, yeah, I couldn't see any reason for him moving off, but I, I enjoyed it. I got the stuff, so... <laughs> uh, build an expedition at an ancient tomb. Where's the ancient tomb? Oh, right there. Okay, I guess we could do that. Uh, I might need another explorer unit to do it though, so maybe we'll just buy one. Oops. Purchase. Oh, of course, I gotta move the unit out first. This is a little bit of a pain. They should at least have it spawn maybe beside the city rather than having to do this. Eh, just a minor gripe. So we'll buy the explorer. And we'll wait a turn on him. And maybe we'll go do that. So there's the quest, um, aliens detected, okay, and a quest decision. Strange how humanity now lives on an alien planet, yet still struggles to reclaim many of its past technology, technological achievements. Having now regained network capabilities, we move one step closer to a complete unknown future. Uh, the shape of that future will be determined by how we utilize the current technologies. For example, the network links all, links all our systems, allowing us to uh, dis dis disseminate our, our knowledge digitally, be it technological or cultural. Which of these is more beneficial? We don't know. Uh, free maintenance for networks. Uh, free maintenance is always good. And use it as a cultural resource. I think I went free, free, uh, free uh, relics. So I'm saving some on that. So maybe with this one, I might go with the, uh, the culture boost. Because we want to crank that culture income up as well. Let's see, we're only like plus four, which is actually pretty low. So uh, there's a few areas that I'm going to come short on in this game. I think um, I get the feeling I'll probably just end up failing this game. But I'm not going to hit end turn because we're at the end of our episode here. And this file size is actually pretty big. So I'm going to cut the, the video here. And we'll pick it up next time. So if you're still with me, thanks for joining me. And we'll catch you next time.